It's Rhythm and Soul Radio. I am Marco Nobles. We have the doors of our virtual studio open, and uh, we have the pleasure to speak with a, a gentleman uh, who is a, a first-time visitor to Rhythm and Soul Radio in our virtual studio, Ellison Kendrick. What's going yes. on, sir? How are you? Yeah, I'm very well. How are you, sir? Thanks for um, having me. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. We appreciate it. Uh, so let's start at the beginning for folks who are not as familiar. Uh, you're you're from Florida. You're from you're from is it Miami? Miami, Florida. Yeah, born and raised. Okay, born and raised. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry, now sorry. your 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 journey, you know, starts like many many artists in the church. Mm-hmm. You know, you're, you're now now are we are you a PK or or just a a, a church kid? No. Just a church kid, not a PK. Okay, <laughs> okay, PK. okay. But you, but always singing, always, always in the choir, always doing all that. Every day, almost every day. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Um, what What is interesting that, that certainly stands out is uh, you initially uh, were signed to the label of the great Miss Betty Wright. Yeah, yeah, I sure was as a as a, as a teenager. Yes. <laughs> so, so how did that come about? I mean, you know, Betty Wright is is such a legend, um, yeah, and she and is. she you know has been known to she really you know has worked quite a bit with younger artists, and, and mm-hmm. we see that you know we see it more so on the outside for you know with mm-hmm. the, her work with the Roots and, and a number of other yeah. artists that she's. Yeah vocally trained and that sort of thing, but uh, from her own label, um, which mm-hmm. many of us don't get to see much of, how does that, how did that come about that you were able to get signed by the great Betty Wright? Uh, it, uh, it, I was introduced to her from a, I guess I performed at a talent show, wow, that is so long ago, performed at a talent show and introduced to her by one of her friends. And, mm. um, because, and then, and then I, it just kind of snowballed <laughs> from, from there. You know, it's just who, you know, meeting the right person. That's kind of how it happened for me. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> jumping ahead real quick mm-hmm. is, you, you know, you worked with and toured with Josh Stone um, mm-hmm. with you. So, and that that's a whole nother, I'm sure, experience because that's, that's, more, that's now world touring, uh, the tour exactly. with Josh Stone. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Over 120 and, countries, I think, that tour with her. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. Um, actually, there's a there's a friend of Rhythm and Soul Radio who uh, who's worked with Justin. I'm I'm not sure if you guys cross paths in that space. Uh, Antonia mm-hmm. Janae. Of course, she stood okay. right next to me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's she was a on long my left time and, uh, friend. Antonia was on the right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. She, you know, she's. Uh, I think about think of her because she's also in Florida. She's a longtime mm-hmm. friend of of Rhythm and Soul Radio. Uh, so mm-hmm. that, that's great. That, that's great that to be able to that, that you were were both in that space at that time. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Small world, right? <laughs> yeah, small world. Uh, talk about because at the time throughout um, touring with Josh Stone was was over like what time frame like 20 what to 20 Two, what it was early 2004 to about 2015 oh, so it's a, okay so it's it's a yeah, good span we, of time yeah so that's we, a good we, span we, of time we to, family we were out there a long time <laughs> yeah yeah and, and and out there learning I'm, I'm sure as well being able to learn and and put things in, in place for um for your own project or project right absolutely you know? absolutely because you the pressure is not on you and you can mm-hmm. kind of stand back and you know because it was it's her show but while that's happening you can you know take notes and see what's going on how you would handle that situation if you're in it so it's kind of good it's very good to to be in the background and, and pay attention <laughs> and not right, have to right. catch all the blows <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? right 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 mm-hmm. um you now i'm gonna jump to i guess current day or present day you you mm-hmm. had the single got it going on yes yeah, yes. uh, it's from, yes. from an upcoming EP that'll be released uh, shortly. Yes, sir. Before the eight yeah. years out, yeah, it's called Rated uh, Rated E. Rated E. Okay. Now this is and this is an EP or a full LP. Um, it started off to uh, being to be an EP, but I've gotten so much good uh, material coming in. I think I might 
you know, in an album at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. But yeah, some um, songs I just can't cross off the list. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, so talk about the part that this is, this is not, is this, the, this is not the first EP though, or first LP for you. Is, is, um, it, is yes, this the first full length? Yes, first full length EP. I've, I've released singles before, but not a, not a full EP or album yet. Okay, okay. So talk yeah. about the process then of of putting this all together um, as the, as yeah. the first project. You mentioned you have so much material. Is it you know kind of pulling from some of the singles you've already released to include, and then new stuff? Is it all right. new stuff? Talk about the the process for you. It's it the the process is 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 um new and old, and then so it's trying to you know I try to do all the things that I like, all the different styles that I like. And I don't want to get myself into a box. So, you know, because, you know, you just do R&B and, then you, you know, you want to be able to, you know, maybe do a gospel song or maybe do a crossover or a dance song. So I try to do everything. And then from that from that pool of uh, material, I try to pick the, the best ones. And I let certain people that I trust that ear hear it. And then I take off that one and I take off the one that's, okay, that, that's my favorite too. So, yeah, I start off with certain writers. You know, I try to get new writers and, and new producers and people with the different take on things and and then you see how you work together and sometimes you get that chemistry and then you can do a couple of songs from that one person or that one writer mm -hmm. so that's kind of how the process has been for me I, I i'm not pressuring myself because i'm not on a major label so i can take my time and i can you know write the things that i want to write and not try to fit in and you know because there's so much you know negativity so i'm trying to like do things that are a little more positive you know positive toward the women positive toward us so yeah so it, it, it's it's nice to be able to have that freedom to do that so that's what right. that's the process is right you mentioned yeah. that there that um there are more songs still coming in you're still trying to uh you're still selecting songs mm -hmm. so yeah. do you have a sense yet how many songs will actually end up being on the eplp mm -hmm. or is it still in yeah. formation right right now i got i got 12 that i'm surely Committed to. <laughs> so I really, really like it. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to sacrifice those. So I might, I may add a couple more, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm good in the, the twelve that I got right now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go back for a minute. So in the time, so this is the first full length. So in the time from 2015, when you, when you. Uh, stopped i'm not gonna say finished touring with Josh, but mm -hmm. in time you stopped to now in between you're releasing singles your your yes. performance you know here and there on your own and developing mm -hmm. uh the material i would think to get right. to this album right right i had a single right after i left Josh uh called black suit in 2015 right. and it debuted at number 11 on the single sales chart on the billboards so now, that was under so like was, Ellison Kendrick and and a group name, right? Or uh no, no, there was a producer. No. That the the Black Suits is my band that plays. For okay. Me. But, okay. Yeah, but um it was under yeah, it was under uh, an independent label, yes, my, my label as well. All yeah. right, so that that's yeah. probably what I what I saw when I when I yeah. see Black Suit is Ellison Kendrick the and the Black Suits. Yeah. Yeah, the band. Yeah, uh, yeah, I thought I said, let's keep the theme going because the song that was my first song. So, you know, that I did solo and it, you know, made a little noise without a major push. And I thought that was really cool. So I said, let's hang on to that name. So that's what I decided to name the band. And then I also did another single with a producer named HD in the UK, which uh, went like number 14 on the UK soul chart. Mm -hmm. um, had a jazz vibe and the, 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 there were features by the by our Brian Corbett from the Brand New Heavy. So mm -hmm. it was a nice little jazzy, jazzy R&B fusion. So that did pretty well. So yeah, I'm dropping singles to see, to find my audience. You know, you have mm. to find your own little, you know, little audience. I don't want to put out an entire project and then no one's tuned in. So I'm right, throwing right, right. out bait to get them real damn again. <laughs> right, right. Now, to, to, to that point, what made now the time, or about now, the time to release mm -hmm. the, the full length? Um, we, we, because the re the reactions and the responses that I'm getting from the singles, you know, that I'm putting on the videos that I'm releasing, I'm getting that the audience is starting to build. And um, when when I put out Got It Going On, I tried it overseas first. And when that hit number seven on the UK soul chart, I was like, okay, let's take it to the US and see if I can find an audience in the US. So that that momentum gave me the cue that okay, you're on the right track. Let's let's mm. stay in this direction. 
Okay, okay. And and again, we're talking with Ellison Kendrick. Uh, he has his uh, new single, Got It Going On, uh, the first yeah. single from his project, Rated E. Um, so when people do get to hear the full project, uh, hopefully towards the end of the year, um, mm -hmm. what what can they expect to hear? Is it is it, is it can is it like a soul record? Or how how would you categorize? Is it a soul record? Is it um, R and B? Is I, it everything? I is it, it, yeah, it's, I would categorize it as eclectic. It's a music album because I remember mm -hmm. when I was listening to Michael Jackson growing up, uh, I used to hear him do maybe a soul you know R and B song, and then it was a pop song, and then it was something that was more for the you know the movie or the theater. He gave you a variety. It was a dance song. So mm -hmm. I wanted to be like that because I know we're just not like a monolith. We don't only listen to soul music. So I want to put all of that into, you know, what I'm able to, able to, I'm capable of doing. So I think it's more eclectic. It's a musical album, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. um, we mentioned Michael Jackson in terms of mm -hmm. your, your your thoughts about how, how your album fits like like a Michael Jackson album would. Um, mm -hmm. Are there influences that you take with you from, you know, as you're doing your music, whether it's performing mm -hmm. or creating an album like this? You know, you, obviously you mentioned Michael Jackson, but so mm -hmm. there's there's that. But are there other influences that you, yeah, you draw definitely. from? Definitely. Luther Vandross is an influence. Uh, Marvin Gaye, Al Green, you know, because my mom, you know, she, 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 you know, we listened to real good music, and mm -hmm. I was never, I never shied away from the older, older artists, you know. Nowadays, if you, if you listen to the, you know, kids, they listen to older artists, like, oh, that's played out, or they're washed up, or they're not current. I never felt that way growing up. I always appreciated what was given to me and what it was shared with me. So yeah, and then, then and then being groomed by Betty Wright. There's mm. no way I can escape all the legends. So yeah, yes. yeah, those, yeah, definitely, yeah, they they influence everything right. that, that I, that, yeah, they influence everything. Right. Going back to to your being groomed by Betty Wright at, at the time, um, because Betty Wright has been in Florida, you know, for a long time like, now. Uh, yeah, yeah for, uh, and that's been her base. So. Mm. As much as we know her of her as a legend, I'm I'm guessing there in Florida she is even a higher status kind of legend, especially mm. because she's working with young talent like yourself. Yeah, I but yeah, maybe so. But I think she's more appreciated elsewhere because a lot of mm. times when you're in your own town, it's sort of like the Bible or prophet in his own town, it's like you're you, they take you for granted. It's kind of like how we do the beach. When people come here, they go, well, let's go to the beach. And I'm here my whole life and I hardly ever go to the beach. So I think that's kind of the response. I think there's a certain amount of respect, but most of the people that she she's worked with have been from other places. Like if she's done something with Beyonce or, you know, with Lil Wayne, they're not from here. So when mm -hmm. they come and work with her, they all, you know, she is the go-to person. Um, but yeah, we, yeah, we, she she is a legend, but it does it's not the same when you're from a certain town. That's what I right. feel. And, and well, I guess you had an advantage because you know of your parents, as you mentioned, you know, knowing the legend. So it wasn't like mm -hmm. when you met Betty Wright, you you knew who she was. You I knew exactly. I heard. That song. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, my mom plays this song. Yeah, of course. Right, right. Of course. Right, yes. where where others you know might not because they don't have that same type of the know, exposure, yeah, that they're exposure not exposed to, the to it or the or the respect for it. Yeah, it's not the it's not the same. It's a it's a slight change. So I want to maintain that respect for the legends and the people that come before and the type of music and you know that you know the songs they could last and the lyrics made sense and you know it's just it's just a difference. It's such a difference, and I just want to hang on to a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Again, we're talking with Ellison Kendrick here on Rhythm and Soul Radio. The the project is rated E. Uh, the current single is Got It Going On. Uh, we want to give you a chance to let everybody know, one, how they can get the single now, and then mm -hmm. when the album comes, how they can find it, all the all the the the, the platforms, all the social mm -hmm. media where they can find you, your website. Mm -hmm. All that good stuff so they can keep up with you. So now yes. is the time to make sure everybody knows how to find you. All right. It's very simple. Everything is under Ellison Kendrick. Anywhere music is, I keep it simple. Ellison Kendrick. What you see here, Ellison Kendrick. 
the website, iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, uh, everything, Twitter, Instagram, just type in my name. It's all the same. Very easy. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. We thank you for taking the time to talk with us for a little while, and and thank you for sharing the music. We look forward to the full album coming uh, later this year. You know, again, the full album is rated E. We've been mm-hmm. talking with Ellison Kendrick, and we're gonna make sure that everybody gets to hear right now the single "Got It Going On." Thank you again. Thank you. Appreciate you. I oh, appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, Rhythm and Soul Radio. Got it going on, Ellison Kendrick.